Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. Space. It's really big. Why is it there? What does it all mean? Is there some intelligence guiding it all? It's a monkey in a tutu. I call it monkey in a tutu constellation. It is the fifth constellation I have named. Oh, yes, excellent work. You've only got 5.8 billion to go. Have I told your calls? I cannot find the constellations from my book. Those constellations only look like that from the Milky Way, Gore. We've wormholed into a whole new galaxy. Oh, it all looks so different from this side of the universe. To gain true wisdom, one must see the truth from all sides. So, Shaolin, have I gotten on your good side yet? Want to share, Spider? Bematron. Found them in a closet. Perfect little gift item for the ape who's got everything and yet no way to keep it. What next? I had to ask. Friends of yours, split the... Our craft is equipped with a solid light holographic generator, Captain. Capable of instantaneous personnel production. Hooey! Makes a pack of holoboons in seconds. Uh, holoboon numbers 432 slash 665 through 667 reporting for duty. What the devil? Whoa! Let me try that again. Is that absolutely necessary? No! So, F go using that thing on real live critters. How's that? Believe me, you don't want to know. Hold the phone. Call coming in. A low power SOS from the NC-17 galaxy. Hey, I don't think we're old enough to go there. Section 8 of the Primate Avenger Space Manual requires full response to all distress calls. Primate Avenger Space Manual? What in the monkey love? I just made it up. Okay? Okay, did I say no? When did I say no? Even if it seems like a real dumb idea, and I mean that in, in a good way. Plot wormhole jump for NC-17 Galaxy. Executing warp series Bonzo Monkey 10 now. atmosphere capable of producing instantaneous death. But let's make sure, shall we? Why don't you take off your helmet? You got no idea how much I don't like you. If I had hands, I'd be stifling a yawn. Keep an eye out for signs of life and don't touch anything. Radio wave readings at 30 degrees. Hi! Y'all got company! alien have taught us? What mysteries revealed? Yeah, like what's this thing you do?
Probably died waiting for a donut. What a find! These Dampier crystals are gonna make us monkey flipping millionaires! The captain said not to touch anything, Spider. That's why I'm using the Beamatron. Beamatron. Totally untouched by monkey paws. Oh, yes. That is good, I think. Let's go, crew. We're departing ASAP. No aliens accounted for. Alive, anyway. Besides, Splitsy started a core meltdown. I, I thought it was a dang donut, Spencer. Oh, Coconut. Real food for a change. Cup to pop back. A fortune in Dampian crystals. Not to mention one space nutty looking coconut. And I mean that in a good way. alien entity of unknown origin has attached itself to spider's posterior. You must carefully examine it. Careful? Are you nuts? It's doing a Vulcan mind meld with my butt! Come here, you little critter. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. That's a keeper. Oh! Oh! Thank you, Captain. But I am perfectly capable of defending myself against whatever it is. Charlie! I... <clears throat> we only meant... Somebody grab that sucker! No! I missed it. Hmm. This expectorant emanates toxic isotopic flux generation. It's a big old space, Lurgy. Radioactive. Uh, that's not good. I don't know who flicked Mr. Lugie on board, but he's not sticking around. Stay close, stay alert. Stay out of my way. Sorry, the white zone is for passenger loading and unloading. Only... The creature has come this way. Brilliant deduction! Yo, there it goes! Hmm, perhaps I can proffer a rudimentary understanding of the creature based on careful observation of its behavior and physical characteristics. Oh. Let's have a done. It's a big old spice lurgy! Perhaps we are too busy attacking to understand me. Uh -oh. Oh. oh. I understand it all right. I understand it. Dead meat! Not exactly, Captain. The creature is neither meat nor meat byproduct. It's pure, unstable DNA. Mm -hmm. A tempting friend that perks up any party. Molecular structure is changing constantly. Oh, I caught it! I caught it! I lost it. I wonder how that creature got on board. I thought it was a coconut. Yeah, I know. You gave an order. But you're always giving orders. Hey, it's your job. You give orders, you're an order-giving kind of guy. And I mean that in a good way, with all due respect to you and yours. I'm gonna fry your butt for disobeying orders, mister. I... Can you sense it? 
The creature is here. It's one of the hollow boats. Yeah, but which cotton picking one? If Splitsy's right about these Bematrons, there's one way to find our friend. Uh, do we get workman's comp for this? As long as he stays away from my nether regions. Strangely soothing. Tight formation, heads up, blast anything that moves. Shoot first and ask questions later. You have certainly evolved, Captain. What am I supposed to ask a homicidal alien monster? Hmm? Who do you like in the series this year? It is a creature of instinct, newly born into this universe. We should respect it. Captain, a dire development. The creature apparently absorbed Spider's DNA when it liberated his back fur. You can tell that from his head? No! It's right up there! We mean you no harm. We seek only to understand you and... Understand it yet? I understand. I will kick its alien monkey butt up. You hit my friend! It's absorbing Gore's DNA and reconfiguring its cellular structure. What are our options, Splitsy? Run like your tail's on fire! Close the door! Close the door! Not so tough now, are you? Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Deleterious apex. If we don't get the Aplian off our ship in the next 14.26 minutes, we're gonna be microwave monkeys. Why don't we just stuff the mook in a cage? Maybe get a few bucks off of him at some intergalactic circus or sideshow or high school science fair or something. Okay. So my plan's got a few holes. Not necessarily. Of course, the problem of containment is material. Such a unit would have to be constructed of high-density, carbon-based material. We gotta get us a heap of xanthium crystals. Like the crystal spider has in his room? 
Gore, Gore, I, I, I guess we haven't covered the concept of keeping a secret. What are you gonna do with these, Blitzen? In time, in time. Goes to house in Palm Beach. Your soul will be enriched more by this selfless act than by mere material possession. Really? Oh, happy day. I feel so good about this now. Need a volunteer to lure the creature. Be warned, the mathematical probability of survival is negligible. Check. Any volunteers for monster bait? Well, I never would have guessed, but okay, Spider. I'm just looking out for my investment. capable of defending myself, goddess. Okay, we got Mr. Monster stuck in a jar. Now what? The indestructible, malleable nature of xanthium crystal makes this jar impervious to anything. Setting that there alien drew. Check. New trick. Time to dump and run. Deploy sequence. Monkey, zebra, tangerine, peel. Whoa. Peel off. Report go, no go. Primate one, go. Primate two, go. Primate three, go. Primate four, go. Primate five, five and six, go. Forget it, pal. In space, no one can hear you shriek. I just named a new constellation. I call it the Ape in a Jar Constellation. Well, Spider, you screwed up, Royal, and almost got us all killed. You are avaricious, materialistic, out of balance with the cosmos. You play an abominable game of bridge and smell awful. You are shallow, self-centered, and a cock-picking hero. Roger that. Glad you're a member of my crew, mister. Yeah, uh, thanks for that there. Hey, I guess material possessions don't mean a thing compared to... to real friendship. <laughs> as long as you don't get carried away.
Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. 